Yeah, Laurel, plenty of what they sum up as illegal activities, but things really came to a head in the last week or two when a guy with a machete showed up at the park. We, we got a photo of this guy from a neighbor. I want to show it to you. Uh, to you. You'll see the guy with the machete sitting on a cement wall near the playground. We're told this guy was threatening people with the weapon. And if that wasn't bad enough, neighbors say there's non-stop drug use and dealing in the park as well as illegal camping. People are beyond frustrated and today they came out to take back the park. Among the things they did, spray paint school zone messages up and down the sidewalk. A reminder that this place is no place for shady behavior. I, I think that we're all frustrated with um, what our living situation has become in the city and in this neighborhood and specifically today in this park and we're looking for solutions. It's pretty sad. It's sad. Um, uh, I'm hoping neighbors getting together can perhaps change things. We can make a presence in the park and take our park back. All right, back to the guy with the machete for a moment. Police were not able to determine that there was a crime, and so they could not arrest him. No probable cause there, but uh, they did, uh, I understand, confiscate uh, the machete for safekeeping. In the meantime, as far as the drug use and the camping around this park, I'm told that police have stepped up patrols in this area. Back to you. Mike Benner in Northwest Portland. Mike, we always have and will appreciate your reporting. Thank you. We're following developments.